Welcome back to Auto Race Garage, aka RG. And as you've seen, we got another issue with the Mustang. So, that is one of the transmission cooler line is leaking. So, we get to replace that because that's what happens on this car. You fix one thing and then something else breaks. So, I ordered new lines off of a MPD. So, we're going to go ahead and crack that open and uh, get this thing cracking. Here goes a new line from MPD. No, they should have used the uh, Christmas wrap in there. Oh, yeah. Here we are. And uh, part number reference. There goes the part number. This is for obviously, if you're watching this, this is the six cylinder 3.3 in line six. Um, So yeah, so we get the car jacked up in the air and uh, climb under there, undo the uh, lines. I, I got my drain pan because I want to catch as much fluid as I can because that is fresh fluid when I did the uh, transmission pan gasket. So I'm going to save as much as that as I can. So we'll undo the lines at the radiator and then we'll undo the lines on the transmission first. Let's get to it. All right, so here's where both our lines are at the radiator, here and here. Um, so we're gonna just get our wrench, undo these. And it's been repaired too before. Oh. See, someone spliced it in here before. So it must have been leaking. I can tell you it's, which line is it? This is the line that's leaking down right here but well, we're going to obviously replace both um i'm trying my best to film as much as i can with it being under the car so uh, let's get to it okay That's one line off. Let's get this other one off. Here we go. Alright, so we're back of the transmission now. And let's see if I can. That's where one of the lines uh, connect to. And then the other one. Uh, focus, focus. Okay, the other one's right here. Um, these are going to be really hard to film trying to, uh, take these out, but I'm going to do my best. Alright, so I couldn't film it. It was way too hard under there to see. Um, these are the old lines here. Compared to our new lines. Now, obviously, the bends on yours will be slightly different because these have been replaced before. Um... Probably someone just grabbed some straight, uh, just some lines and bent them themselves. These are pre-bent to how they go on a factory. Obviously, you can clearly see this one here has been spliced in before here. And this fitting is different than what's originally supposed to be on the car. 
so we might have to do something about that there. See, this indent is not even flared, unless maybe they didn't come flared back then. Who knows? But anyway, um, I'm gonna get this fitting off and hopefully see if it would adapt to the new one. So I'm. Everything I do, I'm self-taught. I, you know, do a lot of research on working on cars. I never went to school for this. I never had anybody show me how to do this. So, <laughs> every time I learn something or make a mistake, it is a great learning experience, which I made a huge mistake. So, um, the brake line. When I open these up, the new ones, I noticed it had this kind of fitting on there and it wouldn't work with what was on the car. Um, Cause they had like a, like a fitting like this on both ends. So this wouldn't screw into the transmission or the uh, radiator side. So I thought, you know, cut it off and install the other one which one I couldn't flare this line it was so hard I messed up the tool and then long story short I could have just went and got which I did now one of these fittings that would screw on to here and then screw on to both the transmission side and the radiator side fortunately in the process, I already cut this one pretty short and messed one of the brake line, uh, one of the uh, transmission lines up. So now, another thing I could have done was got, if I didn't want to change out the entire lines, I could have got a compression fitting, which I got here. The other end of this is completely messed up. I so I cut off one of the old ones, which already has the right thread, and it has. A compression fitting on here on this end I'm gonna install that and then join these two together I already cut this the length like right? this was longer and I messed up the tip of it so I cut this the length it'll fit this yada yada but long story short from the get-go I could have just used these and been fine and been done and started struggling for hours but like I said this is a great learning experience for me this will help uh, anyone who's watching this and doing it and I'm not mad about it because you know like I said this is a thing I never changed transmission lines before and like now I know so let's attach this line together we'll put this on there and then the other line that I didn't mess up we'll install these and put those on there and be done with this uh, let me show you guys where So this is where it leaks from. It It's almost like something brushed up against it. I don't know. I don't think it was the headers, but I don't know. But that's where it leaked from. So that's trash. Let's go and get this uh, compression fitting installed. So this end already has it already installed previously. So I just got to put one on this end here. And then we'll join these two together. This, put that there. Then that. Then that. And then this is going to compress that fitting down there. So it doesn't come off. And do the same. And then we can screw this here. I think I'm going to do a final tightening when it's in the car and it has both ends on there. But uh, let's go ahead and get this installed on the car. Alright, so I got both lines uh, installed into there. Like I said, it was, it's just really hard to uh, record underneath the car like that. It's really tight space, but 
Let me guys show you how I got this thing installed. Uh, let me get the light here. So, got the union fittings there. This is the radiator. Got them installed there. Ran, ran, ran. Now I believe the old one, I think it must it might have hit the header, the exhaust, and eventually burned. So I think I'm gonna it's not touching, but it's pretty close. So I think I'm gonna get some uh uh some fuel line and uh wrap them. Some fuel uh rubber fuel holes. So if it ever bounces, you know, driving, that should protect it there. Get something to wrap around there. And I'll probably put, well, that one's pretty fine. That's pretty far off. But yeah, I'll definitely get one that's going to wrap around here and uh, protect it from there. Gonna see how I got it there. See it right there. Got it hooked back up there. And then this copper one is going back there. That's the union fitting on that one. Um, yeah, that's it. Fortunately, I can't start it right now because I got to put a water pump on this thing because the bearing's out. But, um... Hopefully this video helped you on... At least helped you some way, shape, or form. Um, you guys can like, comment, subscribe. If you got any more tips for me, that'd be great. Uh, y'all can follow me on Instagram at autoraise underscore YT. I'll catch y'all later.